Applying reflections. In order to apply a reflection, you need to know the line of reflection. Let's practice. Identify which triangle or triangles represents a reflection of triangle A. Be specific with how the image was reflected. Pause the video here and try number one. So there are two triangles that are a reflection of triangle A. One of them is triangle C, and it is reflected horizontally through a line that is halfway between triangle A and triangle C. So triangle C, and it's a horizontal reflection. The other triangle is triangle E, and it is reflected through a vertical line that goes halfway between triangle A and triangle E. Number two, use A prime, B prime, and C prime to indicate the new vertices that correspond to A, B, and C in the original triangle after reflecting A, B, C using line L. So we can think of line L as the mirror. In the original triangle, C is one unit away from line L, which means C prime will also be one unit away from line L, just on the opposite side. B in the original triangle is three units away from line L, so B prime will be three units away on the opposite side. A is five units away from line L, so A prime will be five units away on the opposite side. And now we can connect our points to form our reflected triangle. Number three, use A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime to indicate the new vertices that correspond to A, B, C, and D in the original figure after reflecting A, B, C, D using line L. So point C is one triangle height away from line L, so we can extend that to the opposite side to find C prime. Point D is also one triangle height away from line L, so we can extend that to its opposite side to find D prime. A is two triangle heights away, so we can extend that to its opposite side by two for A prime, and B is also two triangle heights away from line L, extending that to the opposite side, B prime. And now we can connect our points to form our reflected figure. Number four, plot each point, A, two comma one, B, negative four comma five, and C, zero negative three. Then reflect each point over the X axis, labeling each image as A prime, B prime, and C prime. Plot each point D, negative eight, negative one, E, two, zero, and F, three, negative four. Reflect those points over the Y axis and label those images as D prime, E prime, and F prime. Pause the video here and try number four. So I've plotted points A, B, C, D, E, and F. I'm gonna reflect points A, B, and C over the X axis. So the X axis is our horizontal line here, and we're gonna reflect A, B, and C over that line. So A, is two comma one. If we reflect it over the x-axis, then it will be at two negative one. And so we'll label that a prime. B is at negative four comma five. So if we reflect it over the x-axis, it is now at negative four, negative five. B prime. C is originally zero negative three. 
So reflecting that over the x-axis, it's now 0, 3, C prime. Now we're going to reflect D, E, and F over the y-axis, which is our vertical line here. D is negative 8, negative 1. If we reflect it over the y-axis, we are now at 8, negative 1, D prime. E is 2, 0. If we reflect it over the y-axis, we are now at negative 2, 0. E prime. Point F is 3, negative 4. Reflecting over the y-axis, we're now at negative 3, negative 4. F prime. When the x-axis is the line of reflection, what do you notice about the coordinates of the image? So if we go back and we look at the points that we reflected over the x-axis, which were points A, B, and C, what do you notice about the coordinates of those new points? Well, point A was 2, 1, and its image, A prime, was 2, negative 1. Point B was negative 4, 5, and its image, B prime, was negative 4, negative 5. Point C was 0, negative 3, and its image, C prime, is now 0, 3. So what do you notice happened? Well, the x-coordinate stayed the same, and the y-coordinate changed to its opposite. So anytime you reflect over the x-axis, the x-coordinate stays the same, and the y-coordinate changes to its opposite. Now let's look at what happened when we reflected over the y-axis. Point D was negative 8, negative 1. And when we reflected over the y-axis, D prime was 8, negative 1. Point E was 2, 0. And its image, E prime, was negative 2, 0. Point F was 3, negative 4, and its image, f prime, was negative 3, negative 4. So when we reflect over the y-axis, the x-coordinate changes to its opposite, and the y-coordinate stays the same. This is true every time you reflect over the y-axis. So the x-coordinate changes to its opposite, and the y-coordinate stays the same. Point R has coordinates 3, 2. If it is reflected over the y-axis, what are the coordinates of its image, R prime? And if it is reflected over the x-axis, what are the coordinates of its image, R double prime? Pause the video here and try number five. So if it's reflected over the y-axis, the x-coordinate will change to its opposite, so negative three, and the y-coordinate will stay the same, two. If it's reflected over the x-axis, the x-coordinate stays the same, three, the y-coordinate changes to its opposite, negative two. Number six, one of the triangles pictured is a reflection of triangle ABC. Identify the line of reflection and label the reflected image XYZ. Pause the video here and see if you can identify the line of reflection and then which triangle is the reflection of ABC. So the reflected triangle is this red one and it's reflected over the x-axis. And we can see here that point A 
is one unit away from the x-axis, and this point here, which is x, is also one unit away. Point B is two units away, and this point here, which is point Y, is also two units. Point C is five units away, and its reflected point, point Z, is also five units away. Number seven, reflect pentagon C across line L. Pause the video here and see if you can draw what the reflection of C would look like. So this point here is one unit away from line L, so its image will also be one unit away on the opposite side. It's just over two units long, so I will draw the top just over two units long. It goes down vertically three units. So we'll draw it down vertically three units. The bottom, again, is just over two units long. And then we'll draw this last part here. This point here is about four and a half from line L. So we'll go one, two, three, four, about four and a half. And then we'll connect there and connect there for our reflected image.